the next paper will be projection of students exam marks using predictive data anal analytics Assalamu alaikum and very good afternoon to one and all. My research uh, title is uh, Projection of uh, Students' Exam Marks Using Predictive Data Analytics and the research authors are Dr. Ben George, myself Bala Subramanian and Dr. Huda, Head of the Department IT, Higher College of Technology, Muscat. Our agenda goes like this. Since I did not include, let me go it orally. Uh, upstart, Introduction, Data Analytics, Predictive Modeling, regression analysis, implementation, results, and the references. Our abstract goes like this. Data analytics and the use of Python programming, which is a free open source software, is emerging in the field of predictive modeling. In this research, we use various regression data analytics model to predict the student's grade based on their past performance in the internal assessments. And also here in this research, we train a model to foretell the student's grade at the early stage of the course. Predicting the student's grade at the early stage of the course is really beneficial for the student, as well as it makes the learning process much easier. Here, the model is implemented and tested using one of the most popular open source software tool, Python. Introduction. As we know, education is in revolution pace and its prerequisites of modernization. FORCE offers the researchers the chance of uh, creating the research on freely available data, publicly available uh, analysis algorithms, and the software tools. The main motive of our research is to predict the grades of the students from their assessments. Basically, we have taken the course here for assessment is like the object-oriented programming course, and we were able to uh, predict the grades during the early stage of the course itself. Let's know what is data analytics, the common terminology which most of us uh, know, uh, like which is there with the big data. Data analytics is the art of exploring the raw data for the purpose of uh, deriving valuable insights from it. And what is predictive analytics? Predictive analytics model process runs one or more algorithm on the existing data sets from where predictions are really carried out. And predict predictive algorithm combines data mining and numerical analysis in order to influence trends and patterns. From there, we can really go for uh, uh, getting a lot of insights about the data, which is of much importance to us. Regression analysis. Why we have to use regression analysis in our uh, research? So regression analysis basically permits the scientist to form numerical models that can be used to forecast the value of one variable from the information of another variable. Here in our research, we have used these uh, regression algorithms, and we know that there are so many regression algorithms are there. According to our current uh, data set, what we have, we have found these are going to be the uh, possible uh, regression analysis algorithms that are best suitable for the data set to predict boosted tree regression algorithm, tree regression algorithm, the linear algorithm. And what are these? Let's have a basic definition of it. Boosted tree regression algorithm basically aims the execution of a single model by using many models and merging them for prediction. And what is decision tree? A decision tree is like a flowchart like structure which each internal node denotes a test on an attribute and each branch represents the outcome of a test and each leaf node holds a class label. And what is random forest regression? It's a mixture of tree predictors and each tree depends on the value of random vector experimented independently with the same circulation of all trees in the forest. And what is regression analysis? It basically uses the uh, least square method 
for fitting a regression line and calculates the best fit line. Now I would like to uh, call upon my research colleague to join with the presentation. Thank you. Hello, good afternoon to you all. I'm Ben George, working as a lecturer in high air quality of technology. I'll be continuing the remaining presentation and I'll be talking about the real implementation of uh, this paper. Uh, to implement this research work, we collected the uh, data set that's actually from our college and we took the course called uh, Introduction to Programming. And what we have done is we collected the data set for the last four years, last four year uh, data set we have collected. And it's all in form of Excel sheets. And what we have done, we, we took all these Excel sheets and we converted to, uh, and we took through Python and we converted as a data frame. And if you see the data frame, what it has really, the student IDs, the student names, and their internal assessments, all the internal assessments and their final grade. And uh, a part of our research is whether we can have some relationship between the internal assessment and the final exam. For example, we have different internal assessments like uh, uh, quiz one, quiz two, assignments, class activity, uh, mid-examinations, and so on. So using this internal assessment, can I predict uh, the final exam mark? So this is what the main research. And the thing is, we cannot take uh, all the uh, features, what you call everything is a feature. So we cannot take all the features. So I have to select the best features. Maybe the mid-exam is very much related to the final score, or maybe the class ass assessments may be related to the final score. So to make the exact uh, prediction and to select the best features, we are using a, a concept called Pearson's correlation coefficient. So what this Pearson's correlation coefficient is doing, it takes the pair of features and it matches. And it, it gives a score from, for example, from minus one to one. If it is minus one, it has a, a negative linear relationship. And if it is positive one, it is a, a positive relationship is there. Either you can have a value close to plus one or you can have a value to close to minus one. So that will be the best option. So we implemented that one and we have made pairs, for example, mid-examination, whether it is related to the final examination. And the quiz one, how it is related to the final examination. So like that, we took all the assessments and we made a relationship. And we got the scores, 0.54, like that we got the score. So whatever above 0.5 will be the best value. So we have selected only the mid-examination as well as the coursework. So these two features can exactly uh, find out your final exam grade. So that's what we have found uh, using this one. And this whole work we divided into two. One is your uh, training phase, another one is your testing phase. So the whole data set is divided into two half, 80 percentage we have taken for the training as well as the 20 percent we took for the uh, testing. And what we have done, we have created four uh, separate models using the Python machine learning library. And uh, we implemented this uh, regression techniques, all four techniques. We gave the same 80 percentage of data to all these regression techniques and we created a model. And once we have created the model, the model now it can recognize. For example, if the mid-examination mark is like this, if the coursework mark is like this, this will be your uh, final exam grade. So now the model is well trained. Now we have to test the data, whether your algorithm, your model is correct. So we took the uh, testing data, that is 20% percentage of the data, and we tested with uh, all the four models. And this is what the performance, what we got. So we grouped into three categories. One is the performance during the testing, performance during the training, and the training time. So the mostly we have to see about only the testing part, where we can see all the algorithms, their maximum error. So maximum error means, for example, if the score is 100, and it predicts, for example, 94. So the maximum error is 6. So we have found out the maximum error and the mean error. That's what we call RMSE, the root mean square error as well as we have taken the total time. So based on this observation, linear regression model is the best one. The same we have represented as a graph. In conclusion, uh, Python is one of the top tools in data analytics and it's a free open source. And the experimental results gives us a clear idea that the linear regression model is the best model that predicts the student's uh, final exam marks. And once the student final exam marks are known in advance at the early stage itself, you can motivate the students to perform in a good way. So these are our references. Thank you.